Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. In this video, I will show you a Plotly chart, which is a bubble Plotly chart. So first of all, what I have done as usual, as you must have seen in the previous videos, I have uh, imported the libraries, which is plotly.offline as pyo and uh, plotly.graph underscore objects as go and then pandas as pd. All right, so the next task is to get the data which is orders i have been using it from past not many videos so i hope if you are following that you must be aware about it so i will use the same pd dot read underscore excel method and i know the path which i will provide it in double quotes so let me copy this i'll just remove one single quote over here all right should be okay and if I execute it, yeah, it's working fine. This dot head, if I just say, so what I have is order row priority. I will just take two. So priority order of sales. All of these different columns that I have. So what I'll do is I'll create a bubble chart on sales, profit, and discount. So maybe sales on x-axis, profit on y-axis, and then discount is basically a bubble size. All right, so how we can do that? So bubble size is basically nothing uh, or the bubble chart is basically nothing but the uh, scatter chart and uh, in scatter chart, if you have the size parameters, um, then you can create a bubble chart. All right, so let's see it in action. Well, first thing is creating a data, All right? So what we have is go.scatter. We need to specify X. And x axis is nothing but uh, our orders and sales. All right. Y is nothing but orders and then the profit. And uh, on each of the bubble or each of the point, let's specify the customer name. So, what we can do is we can use the text property which is nothing but orders dot customer name so customer name uh, mode is equals to markers and now specify the marker size all right so within marker within dictionary you will specify size is equals to orders discount all right so that's the key basically this this parameter size and since you are uh, you can see that it's within the dictionary there are a lot of other parameters that you can explore so for now we will just talk about the size all right so once we do that um and if you observe the discount is 0 0.04 0 0.07 so if it will size it will be a very small size so what we can do is let let's multiply it by 100 and uh, make it a properly meaningful size that our eye can see all right once we are done with this i think that's pretty much it what we want here let's go ahead and create a layout is equals to go dot layout and first thing is nothing but the title which is sales versus profit comma x-axis as you know it always come in dictionary so title is equals to sales similarly for y-axis it comes in dictionary because it has a different lot many different parameters that you can specify so i'm just going ahead and keep one simple parameter for the sake of understanding and one other property which is hover mode is equals to close zest so that uh, both sales and profit are not very far, far or wide, but very close to each other along with the customer name. I think that's pretty much it. So if I go in and execute this, yeah. And uh, now let's visualize this. So for that, fig is equals to go dot figure, specify data is data, layout is layout, and pyo dot plot fake all right fig 
So what do I have here now is the the bubble chart if you see. So these are, this is a very small bubble compared to this which is a very high bubble giving me an indication a high uh, discount is provided over here compared to this which is a very low discount. I can slice it if you see and uh, this will give me a further bubble chart which I can further explore uh, if this is what my needs are. If I want let's say uh, just to see profit between 3000 and 2000 and see how my data is doing I can see it over here and now along with the every data point I have the customer name. So this way, even if you have 1000, 10,000 or even 100,000 data points, you can very easily plot and very intuitively figure it out what's what's going on with the data. So that's that's how uh, very easily using this simple code, you can create the bubble chart. And um, I will I will extend this conversation uh, in the next video to make it a little bit more complex to make it a little bit more real time because um, this is just the start, but it can be very, very complex because business needs keeps changing. And I will show you one of the business need uh, that is uh, something I figured it out. We use, we deal it a lot. So see you in the next video.